Hello and welcome to the tutorial on Visual Basic 2008. And first you're going to create a new project and click it on it load. And now since we're gonna do a calculator tutorial, just type in Calculator. Let it load. I'll just pause the camera and watch my. Okay, it's done loading. And now just resize the form. Uh, okay. Now make sure it doesn't do this. Make sure. Uh, it's downloading. Always make sure it's downloading. So resize the form about. Wait. Okay. So resize the form about right there. No properties. All the way up. And. Um, rename the forms. Next to um, whatever you want, calculator. Okay. And now, should pop up. Uh, and since I like to make to make sure that every 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 calculator is the same, I go into properties, and then over here. Maximum box false, and then that takes away the option for them to maximize it, like here. So then it's more sure, sure. Okay, so then toolbox and add four buttons, and it has to be fair size, right here. Yeah. Right. And I'm just going to make sure that they're in the center. So, right there in the center. Okay. And then, rename them. But first, add two te text boxes. One, three, okay. Make sure text boxes are fair spaced between each other so you can fit a label. that that is in the middle. Alright, that's good. Now, add another label. Alright, got a button one. Okay, 
so name the, se the second button right here whatever you want but I like to name the third button is minus oops minus this one for it to be larger than you understanding or I like to put it X then in the other one um divide so usually this would happen but since it's more understanding than self-explanatory me oops this one and name these make sure that's still in that mm -hmm. do it still in the middle that's what you want to do to keep it in the middle if you want to short it out Format of horizontal, and it's in the middle. Okay, coding right here. For button one, insert this code, and the link for this will be in this, this the description. You won't have to download anything. Just do it. And make sure for the plus one, when you click on plus, it's going to be this plus and plus. So that's going to happen. So I'm going to give you a second to copy it. Okay. This one. Basically, it's the same code, but we just want to place this, to that, and this, to that. See? So it's the same thing, only it's minus. Okay. This one. And then. This one is going to be a little different if you want it to. This one you can put this one. X, that's for appearances, so that'll be this label right here. It'll show an X. But for the computer, you're going to tell it to do this. And then for same thing, this one going to do this but on this one we're going to tell the computer to do this because it's the division sign and then check the error list and we are ready to test for the book okay it's all centered and lined up so it should be really good appearance and if you want you can detail it like color it change the appearance and rich text box and stuff like that, so I'm not going to go that far, I'm just going to... Okay. Now, type in 5, oops. Make sure, tester, you can do whatever you want. 5, and 5, and click, and plus 10. Plus, oh, and I should change that. So I'm going to click on label 1, no, I'm going to change the coding, so instead of that, I'm just fixing stuff, you don't have to do this, I'm going to change it 
so that you won't have to do this. You shouldn't be able to. Okay. Now should work like I want it to. Then plus no wait. A second to load. Okay, it's all loaded. Should work now. Plus 20. 10 plus 10. 20. Now, if you have any errors, comments, and I will hopefully comment on you back. 20. I'll answer you back for the question. And everything should work. Twenty times one. Twenty. So, any questions? Just comment me, inbox me, or subscribe to, and watch all my videos. Thanks for watching and hopefully I'll add more Microsoft Visual Basic 2008 videos. Bye.